Hi everybody and welcome to Blueprint Studios. We're line checking at the moment because the drums are going to be playing a session for us upstairs. So you're probably going to be hearing a lot of noise in the background there while we're just getting everything, like just like that, while we're getting everything just right for the band. The band are going to be here in about 40 minutes. I'm very excited about this. And when they come down, we're going to have a chat with them and then we're going to record a session upstairs. So stick with us and we'll be able to see the drums in session later on. Well, hello! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> long time no yeah. see. Yeah. It's been a long time. Of course it has. It's only been. All right. Yeah, good. Looks like it's kind of a bit, uh, a bit disconcerting, really. Giving coffee to Americans, because no matter what coffee you're getting, they're going to be like, what's this? That's not coffee. Right, here's the teas, here we go. Okay, right, well we've got uh, the drums here, we've got Johnny and we've got Jacob and we've got Connor. Well, thanks very much for coming down. So you've got a bit of a different lineup now, haven't you? Since the last time you came down. Yeah, I feel like you're, you see like every phase of the spin, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's great to watch a group kind of in, in, in the ascendancy and quite a meteoric rise really in quite a short period of time. Mm. Three years. Mm. It's been three years. It doesn't feel that short to us. No. I feel like, you know, for us, it feels like it's, we've packed in about 10 years worth of stuff. Yeah. Well, you have done, haven't you? Because you've been living it, whereas I just kind of get a little snapshot every six months <laughs> or so. Yeah. I like to do something nice Take my hand and I'll take it for a ride You hit me yesterday Because I made you cry So before we die I like to do something nice
Thank you. Well, I think with Porto Mento, I mean, people talk about the difficult second album. And I think that you, you produced the first album, didn't you, yourself, yourself, the drums, and you produced the second album. I think we were just talking there, Johnny, weren't we, about the fact that you've learned from the first album a certain amount. You take away what you want from that, you discard what you don't want. And it did, this album to me sounds a lot more, you sound more comfortable. You know, I felt like every song I was telling you earlier, I felt like every song was a real, like, let's go for it type of song on the first album, like Forever and Ever and Men, those big choruses on Best Friend, and really everything, even the most subtle of songs, always had to have that chorus that really just soared. And um, for Portamento, we just went into it just like yeah, wanting the songs to just be what they wanted to be and to breathe a little, let, let them breathe a little bit more. Well, it sounds to me, the way that you're talking also, from what I gleaned from actually listening to the album, rather than being the difficult second album, it's just a natural progression. Hmm. But that idea of like the difficult second album, I think that that becomes a problem for bands when, well, A, they kind of have a really big hit on their hands with their first album, which ours really wasn't that big, you know, it's just people liked it, you know. Um, but, um, and, and also it, it's that idea of like, how do I then kind of recreate what happened with the first album and we just weren't concerned with that you know right. like I think we all kind of have the mentality that we're just trying to make music that 20 or 30 years from now we can look back on and be proud of and not think like oh we kind of succumb to other people's expectations for what we should or shouldn't be doing we want to just always put out music that that we can always stand behind we find people uh, a lot of people mainly the press um, seem to be really confused at why we don't, why we make the decisions that we do. Um, specifically the UK press, I feel like they want us to want to be massive and mm. huge. Um, and it's just, that's our goal has always been just to write a beautiful song.
Well, there you have it. How good was that? <laughs> it was fantastic, wasn't it? I'm so glad that we came up upstairs at Blueprint in the posh bit up here. We've, uh, we've got the, uh, the tracks all recorded and done and they played so well. That was the third time that they'd been here. So um, bring on the fourth. All right, well, thanks for watching. See you later. Ta -ra.